So let's go into the process of shooting a music video. You always have the performance where the singer is singing directly into the camera. The whole process of making sure that the artist was absolutely beautiful and they were in this wonderful light and you did a whole sequence where they just sang to camera that you knew you could cut to at any point in the song. This is my last resort. So there's that setup. You need that. There's also the setup of some kind of swinging ass crane flying around. Whether it's overhead, whether it's scraping the ground, whether it's swinging around, there's some kind of crane action that you need to be able to give that motion and movement. Then there's the extreme close-ups to articulate the fine details, especially how this song starts. We want to have macro coverage of that to really get in there. And then there's the kind of handheld shot where you go in and you just shoot the bass player, and then you just shoot the drummer, and then you just shoot the lead guitarist, and then you just shoot the singer. And then you're able to alter those in any way, whether it's realistic lighting, whether it's big lighting setups. I mean, I did so many of these back in the day, but this one had to feel like it was naturally lit out on the middle of a dry lake bed that fit into the film uh, where the seals are creating reconnaissance and instead of seeing the drug exchange and everything that's happening on this l dry lake bed that's supposed to be Somalia, it's Keith Urban and his band. And then we added some explosions and excitement and we brought our special effects teams in and did all that cool stuff. But the core of it is creating these specific setups that I talked about. You're going to be doing the beauty shot of the artist. See, this one comes off the deck. This is the intro to Keith Urban. The sun had completely gone off the whole dry lake bed, so I knew I had controlled light for about 30 minutes, this beautiful soft light. You can see the sun going across, you can see the mountain range being projected on the other mountain range behind him. And it's just this beautiful skylight on his face, and I could do a controlled setup with him just singing to camera. And we got that, okay? That's the thing we did at the end of the day, but this is these specific setups that you really need to tell uh, the story of a performance music video.